there are quite a few features which have been added to the nightly builds since the last main release of Open Tunes. And most of these features will be added to the next version of Open Tunes. And there are a couple which I specifically want to cover, and one which I've specifically been waiting for for a while. Firstly, we now have improved snapping for the vector brush. Previously, you'd have to rely on the tape tool in order to snap lines. This is now changed as you can now get snapping on all geometry when you're drawing it. In this case, I will be using the brush tool. You click on the snap and then you can choose the sensitivity of your snapping. And then you'll see that you get snapping based on the proximity of your lines to other lines. And this will apply when drawing towards the line as well as drawing from a line. The improved snapping makes it a lot easier to ink and draw more cleanly with the vector tools. And as I said earlier, it applies to all the vector drawing tools, including the geometry tools and the polyline. The next feature may appear rather basic, but is a very major feature and can significantly change the way you would approach rigging a character and can speed up cutout animation significantly. In order to show it, I'm going to use a very basic example. I'm going to have two layers and I'm going to create a face and I'm just going to make a basic blink animation for this face. Now that we've finished the basic animation, just extend the face and we will select both columns and we will create a sub -X sheet. I'll then just extend it and you can now use the square brackets to switch out frames on the sub levels. This allows a lot more flexibility when using sub -X sheets for rigging and will also allow you to animate sub X sheets far more quickly not having to animate every single item within the sub level. At the moment the only way to interface with this feature is through the keyboard shortcuts. If I was to use the skeleton tool I cannot use the on-screen tools. However being able to animate the sub X sheet without either having to enter in values manually or having to enter the sub X sheet is a major improvement and allows for much more complicated rigging and much easier cutout animation. The next two features come from the Marevna project and the first one of them is a horizontal timeline. If we open an X sheet, we will see that there is a button in the top corner. If we click on that, we will now get a timeline view. I'm not going to cover the timeline in any depth. Instead, I'm going to leave a link to Noble Frugal Studios video on the timeline in, in the comments. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of timelines, and OpenTunes has got what is probably the best X sheet on the market. I will not go into any depth over the reasons for my preference for the X sheet. The one which I will mention, however, is that because you have to place the timeline at the bottom of the screen, you lose a lot of drawing screen space. And personally, I prefer having the extra horizontal space to draw with. This, however, is merely personal preference. If you are more comfortable with the Flash School of Animation, you will probably prefer the timeline. The advantage of the way it's been implemented in OpenTunes is that the functionality is essentially the same between the timeline and the X sheet. Most 2D applications do not have both timelines and X sheets, and those that do very often have very different implementations. For example, Toon Boom's X sheet can be extremely frustrating if you're wanting to do frame by frame animation and does not have basic features like scrubbing available in it. The OpenTunes implementation does not suffer from this kind of limitation. 
The other feature from the Moravia project now available in the main version of OpenTunes are the MyPaint brushes. To access them, you will open the Style Editor. And if we enlarge this, we'll see that we have the MyPaint brushes and that we have a Settings tab for the MyPaint brushes as well, which will have the brush settings in the Settings tab. As you can see, there are a large array of natural media brushes. The MyPaint brushes provide a much better brush engine than the original Rust tools and open tunes. It's now far easier to mimic natural textures and traditional drawing. But there is another advantage, which if we work with the basic brushes we can see, is that the engine has much better handling for transparency, for overlaying of strokes, and for pressure sensitivity. There are a lot more tools which have been updated or improved in the current nightly build so far, but I will look at including those when I do updated videos on basic features like the X sheet and the levels. If you would like to preview features which may well be in OpenTunes in the next version, you can take a look at the OTX build. It is far less stable than the full OpenTunes build and is an experimental build. I will leave the link below. You can also take a look at the Morevna project, which has a stable build of OpenTunes. The Morevna project is usually based off the latest stable version of OpenTunes and will include features which they are specifically working on. We'll also include a link to the Bounty Source page, which is focused on individual features and supporting developers for those features. And if you want to support people who are developing OpenTunes, you can take a look at all of those pages. They will be linked in the comments below.